leave the table. The creep squad had deep-rooted issues that they needed to deal with. Now, Cisco was the one acting all different, so the others thought an intervention would make sense. Now, Cisco thought that the guys was being selfish to him and they were being disrespectful. The other guys thought Cisco was trying to boss them all around and then cut them off. Thank you for me. Of course. With DJ Self and my business. We'll sit with him. There you go. Tell him to his face. I've seen across from three dudes who at one time I considered my friend. Get it all on the table right now, because it might be the last time you see all four of us together. And my flaws. Got a lot of shit going on with me. He ever throw stones, I'd rather him sit face to face with a man. To shut me down from that interview of Power 105, and you wasn't even there. You didn't even do it yourself. So where do you get off? You went behind my back and done things with Mariah Lynn. Brother, I'm telling you what I see. You decided to stop my money. We, we having a conversation hold on, right hold on, now. Hold on. hold on. Let's talk about stopping money. Phone calls and shut me down from a walkthrough that you didn't even go get the money from, so I just lost that money. Absolutely stopped that money. 100%. I called that promoter and said, don't book Peter Gans. He dead me on a bunch of money. He knows what I'm talking about. This goes mad that Rich went into the restaurant business with Peter and didn't include him, which he could never do. He's going after Peter? I need my money. And he dollar out of my pockets for my family. This is how this ends now. Okay. I called this meeting. So this is how we gonna end this. Because, man. I'm not laughing. Peter mad because I stopped his money. So bring it on. I'm willing to go toe to toe with any one of my brothers. What's up? An apology's not gonna happen, but in, in regards to the money. Right. That's a fail. I got about, maybe about five on me. My pocket, why don't you come get it? Yo, my man Cisco's messing with the wrong one. You don't take money away from my family and get away with it. Done. Ask me for the Yandy met with Carly at Frost Bistro. Now, Yandy heard some stuff involving Carly and Spice, and she wanted to get to the bottom of it. Now, immediately, Spice showed up alongside Shakina, and immediately, the conversation blew up, and the ladies was lurching at each other. You look nice. Thank you. Hi, friend. Sorry I'm so late. Girl, what did I miss? It's been a crazy night. Listen. Uh -huh. Wait, you know that I felt the way with that whole thing with Spice. Been with her and Bambi, they crossed paths, and it was just... Sheesh. When I saw Spice, mm -hmm. I said, the fact that, you know, who and Mita told Carly that she couldn't let me know what was going on. Now, because I was told Spice told her not to tell me. But when I asked Spice why couldn't she tell me, Spice said that was a bow at the bottom of this. They told me, hey, guys, let's keep this between us. I'm talking about you right now, matter of fact. Come here. I'm talking about you. Your business about somebody being in a hospital. Well, no, that's no, no, not no, what no, she no, told no, me. No. That's why I said I did not want to say, I didn't answer her. Like, hey, Spice, Spice and Mita didn't want us me. to tell nobody. We need to walk. What was said was Spice and Mita sat me down. No, no. I said Mita and Spice, listen, Mita they don't want Spice. nobody to know about what's going but, on. Mita and Spice, right? Mita! That's right afterwards. It's already on the block. Me and me that was what? I definitely said. No. Y'all kept it quiet. But nobody told you nothing about Yandy. Oh, Yandy, it was to her specific. Oh, bitch, me told you to come because I got the text right no, here. No, Mita told me. I pulled the text out where Mita said, come and let's keep it a buck. We have cameras up, and that's the only reason why you didn't go. Wait, wait, wait. You never come to any of her shit. You don't give it. If you my enemy, I'ma find out your deepest, darkest secret. Keep your legs closed to married men. Who? Listen, who? See her around for any of the shows. When do you see her around for anything? Paparazzi, that's Riley. what we're gonna call you. Riley, stop Papa Papa Paparazzi. Valentine was the one who spread rumors about Lyrica's relationship with A1 and the thing she had with Safari. Now, both ladies used to be good friends, and that was what the princess counted on when she invited the ladies to squash their beef. Unfortunately, they couldn't even get past the apologies. Ladies. We got company, Nikki. Hi, Nikki. Hey, you too. Doctor, you having a boy? I know I wasn't invited to the gender reveal. Princess, what's up with you? Like, I mean, I see Monice on the internet talking her both. My marriage, either let's square up or shut up. She threw a drink at me. Well, and let them be stupid by themselves. I think that I need to make an exception. What you think, Nikki? 
Moniz has been a pain in my ass for far too long. The last time I saw you guys together was at my gender reveal. Kind of, it's whack. I think I know how this conversation should go. I apologize for... Should apologize to Yeah. Lyrica. I don't know she had sex with me, Safari. Yeah. Huh? I told you what. That's to Lyrica already. I'm not going to keep apologizing. I'm not a little kid. Everybody they were texting that. each other and whatever. And then she said that. his was wrapped around his leg. Lyrica has put Princess up to everything that she's talking about. So now that we're in public, she want me to get on my knees. Nothing wrong with saying I'm sorry again when she is clearly in the wrong. Pretty sad. I mean, Brooke and I, we used to be really good friends. I have to leave the table. Uh, uh, I wish you the best. No. Now, Ray J thought that he'd have a great party that night, and he did well to scrutinize the guest list. Unfortunately, uninvited guests popped out, and with them came trouble. Now, Tiara heard that Ray J's new woman threw all her stuff out, and she came there to understand what was going on. Side waiting. We'll the laptop. Nobody's ever on. I'm the only one that ever does anything. You know, it's a big night for me. It's a big night for RayJ.com. Tonight, it's a little different. I got a lot of important people coming out tonight. Just hope it turns out to be a great night. I want a drink. We already had like 10 drinks. Like. He did tell me that his girl threw my things away. This is the 11th drink she's ordering, and I'm just like, F why does she have to come? Right now, I want an 11th drink. No, oh my God. <sighs> Lord, it just got hella intense. Next to me in, she found a bag that belonged to Tierra. You were first class with that stinky. <laughs> Absolutely. Old plane tickets and Parmesan cheese. The last time I talked to you, but I did want to say this to you. Black tea, black hat. No. I didn't think he was going to come. Check needs to be cut. Okay. A check? You want me to cut you a check? Stop. Go shopping already. Okay, so wait, 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 wait. wait. Stevie J had to settle some scores with Dawn, who was Jocelyn's manager. Now, he thought that Dawn had neglected her job and even believed that she tried to break up his family. So Stevie J planned to fire Dawn and did it in the most Stevie J way possible. I like to get straight to the point so there's no confusion. Dawn, you are fired. Are nothing but a bunch of broke ass frauds. Really? You can't fire me. I got a folder full of documents that's proven that Stevie J. 21? Four o'clock. Nah, nah. Get the that's out. Nice. She was living that. That's, that's cool. Crap. I heard that. Before she moved to your rental. She was paying for it. She had a credit for that. She signed my name on the dotted line. Booking agents don't do that. That's what real friends do. Couldn't even get her own place because she was evicted and had bad credit. Real yeah. people that own. Yeah. These the real people that own your house. I know who own my house. Yeah. It's hit me with everything under the sun, but you know me. Cool as a fan. I ain't sweating. Cool. When y'all was married, July you want to see yeah. the text message she yeah. texted me for that? This text basically stated, saying that they married. The Zeno put it in mother hip hop week. I'm part owner. No, 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 no. I didn't know that part. Yeah. You need to worry about being a producer. Yeah. Yeah. Cause yeah. Yeah. For another mother hit. Last time you had a hit was when Ronald Reagan was in mother yeah. yeah. I get mine off the mother yeah. top. That's right. I'm making it rain. Bank receipts. Yeah. Come at me. Yeah. I'm right. Yeah. Any accusation she could think of. I think it's actually funny. It's cold outside. Rashida had developed a relationship after Jessica Dime defended her in Jamaica. So she thought to invite Jessica to have a talk with Tommy and settle their differences. What's really nasty is how the conversation derailed into pure hate. It's Tammy and I hash things out in Jamaica. She's been on my case up with the girls tonight to see if we can make that happen. So I decided, after talking to Tammy, to help her mediate this whole Dime and Tommy situation. No drink throwing, no wig snatching, nothing but grown woman conversation. He's been saying he's gonna get a DNA test, and hopefully he will. At steal your toothbrush and all that stuff you see in the movie. It's Tammy and Tommy anyway. They'll be here in a few minutes. Does she know how to behave herself? Because I'm you're okay. such a sweetheart. <laughs> what's up, what's up, what's, what's up? up, Tammy? Hey, Tammy. Girls had their little kumbaya moment in Jamaica and they hashed out their differences. Tommy, looking cute. Hey, hey, thank you, you too. Thank you, Zahiling. What's going on with you? Yes, we Was have it fun? I heard. What's going on in Jamaica? They were able to. I see. Squash I'm fine. everything. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know what to expect, but then when we sat down, just heard her name, and every time her name comes up, I just be like. It's always some bullshit. 
If you feel like you didn't like how I was handling Tammy, why you didn't just say, die? The fact that it's my event, John. Right, and if right. you was there for me, y'all grown women, y'all could fight it out however. Jocelyn, what really got me hot was like Dom knew how much I worked on my wine. Night was for me. And you still turned up. She needs to get up and fight. I think everybody more so have more sh stuff in common. Pressure, yeah! Won't y'all just go beat this bitch up? Yeah, go beat her. Take this way all together, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. And you know, I wish it really wouldn't happen at my event, but I haven't dealt with still in my personal life, so I kind of take it out on, you know, leisure people. We're gonna okay, make that back, clear. Back to, back to what I we're can't get no work. Back to that. That's what we're not gonna do. It's like, what, bitch? Like, if we wanna fight, we... That, no, I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna talk how I wanna talk. Not to me, you ain't. We have a lot in common. Don't motherfucking hate it because you sitting up here telling all these motherfuckers not hating on me. Drop blood for you. Drop blood for you, bitch. I'll beat your ass like your mama. Why I don't give bitches second chance. Making up lies. That let me know you a hater, ho. I'm a street bitch. Can me bitch ain't throw no hate. Specifically hands. to you, though. She's work. When a bitch say I'm going to get this work, what she trying to say is she going to beat my ass. That bitch, no. Raise your daughters. You can't raise me, bitch. Jasmine had a baby shower and invited all her friends. Now something bad happened between the Spice Girls. So when Mita showed up at the event, Spice asked her for a conversation to clear the air on some of the nasty issues between them, especially the existence of Carly Red. Hi, how you doing? Hi, we need to have a conversation. Yes, y'all do. Calling you and texting you since I got back, and I feel like something is going on. Everything that she has done to me, and then you're acting like you don't care. So that's why I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna leave Mida to Carly. Looking at Mida sideways because so many people was telling me to Carly and Mida son best friend all of a sudden. I don't know. And it never sit well with me when my sister knowing what Carly did to me. All over every club in Atlanta with Carly, like what the f supposed to be with me? Not Carly, stupid ass. Seem like no, wait, 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 wait. No, Mida, let's level up. You said before I got sick, I wasn't really you for her. I was all, and you knew okay. that. Yes. Okay, and you're trying to stay out of it. You're being like, you're supposed to be my friend. I, I need of... someone that's gonna have my back. No, you, you don't have, have my back. I was right with no. you. You was all <laughs> over Atlanta with Carly. And and she said, Carly. I'm staying out I, of it. Listen, like, I, I, I am to be I with Carly. Y'all yeah, from home. Y'all gonna be speaking in two months, and then where does that leave me? That's no, but home. when I speak with her, genuine friend that's gonna be loyal to me, and the way I'm loyal to I, I, I have been and nothing. You are, no, you're not. The twins? They fighting? You're gonna give up a loyal friend for a party for one night? But I feel like Mita as a friend, you moving a little funny, so that's why Spice is acting the way she's acting. Unfortunately, you got two people shouting, nobody really listening. We've been your friend and I know you did not. You're making no. everyone you want everything job. that I have. I go in a neighborhood, you want my name. I'm not having this conversation. You were supposed to be at my first event in Cayman. I'm just gonna leave her to be with Carly. Well, I already bought my ticket to Cayman. You can feel how you feel because I know how I am. Suki Hana invited Miami Tip to an event. Now, Suki had plans to squash the beef between Tip and Saucy Santana. So it was all a perfect time for both of them to be at the same place at the same time. But Suki's plans was halted at the door after it was revealed that Saucy Santana had some pretty nasty plans to stop Tip from entering the venue. But if it's gonna make things easier for Suki, I'm willing to swallow my pride. Just <laughs> well, I was invited. Where's Suki? Suki! Hey man, I'm for real, because I gotta use the bathroom. Suki! No trust in. He worked for the Ooh, police. Bitch, hold up. You see it? You hold up. Shay, what the hell are you doing here? I'm about to go. They got me standing I'm outside talking about I'm trespassing. I'm invited. Hi, honey. How are you? Why are you out here? Shay, come on. Accept our apology. Oh, we gonna go get her. They won't let me bring her. They won't let me bring her. Video. It was all over the blog. She went on live. And she lied on me. Were you there when he got shot at? Santana's party, I was like, Santana's party at the end of the day. It's not my control, and I can't tell him who to let in his party. You look good. Erica Dixon and Ariane was present at Jocelyn and Stevie J's wedding. Now, they both heard that Stevie and Jocelyn got married only two weeks after they met. 
Now, Ariane tried to defend the integrity of her friend Mimi, and Erica Dixon was there to support Ariane. Party. It's a lot of liquor, a lot of love, and a lot of sex. Hey, Know whether or not to believe whether these two are really married. But we're married. That's what it is. Next subject: the past. So f you and your homegirl. What? July? The end of July? Got married? Who the hell forgets their wedding date just after a few months? Okay. Michelle, I'm not gonna be lying about my own mother marriage. Come on. I really don't give a what this bitch is saying about Jocelyn. About our own wedding date. Why is this bitch so concerned? Check the bitch. Cause if you don't check, I'm gonna check on my goddamn right. self. So the bitch don't be so concerned about my mother. I know. What a post marital birthday jam. We love us. I'm just going to enjoy the night. But if it don't ever happen. Oh! Oh! Thank you! Okay, so I think. We need Because we, we need some more posts at the house. Yeah. Be mother, and they don't even bring a gift they sell. Speed, you ready? Come on. Uh, hold on, Ma. Where you going? I don't know what's going on. I gotta go. Uh -huh. Bye. 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 Ready to go to the Magic? Wow, young. Come on, man. For me, we're going to Magic. You know what I'm saying? Turn we're about up. to turn up. You could make a case for Amina after she poked her nose in Peter Gunn's family life. But you'd ask what really was Bobby's deal that made him scream so much like that? Really, the discussion was a difficult one, and Peter had all right to show his emotions the way that he did, but Bobby still presented himself as a busybody. Choose to be gay. No, when do you choose to be straight? <laughs> Let your son be a ladybug for Halloween, and that is up. He started crying, and I felt so bad, and I thought that was wrong. Well, never, Better than ladybugs? Hold on, let me, I'm on the, let, 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 okay. let me, let me say, hold on, let me. Peter and Tara's son wanting to be a ladybug was a big deal in his house, anything like that, but he still did that to his son. But you was don't have a moment tonight, Amina. Don't do that. Don't have a moment on me. Don't leave it at that. It wasn't about that. Fact, I can say that. But I also do understand what it's like. The only thing your child knows is what makes them happy. I think he wants to be something else. I'm not going to buy a different costume. That doesn't make Peter a bad guy. He's a great dad. Hey, yo, you rich. You just got up and defended you. You're going to sit down and do what you had to do. Say what you had to say and say, yo. What it was. Nice. I don't care how you remember it. Taking up a gay dudes all my life. Never discriminate. My daddy got your back. My daughter, Amina's daughter, is named after the gay woman that raised me. Let's just make one thing clear. Wait, 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 wait. They, they know in Bobby. their head as a small kid. Oh, a lady that's, that's is why gay. You know, but don't know. No, because now you're gay. The gay person had a because he grew up with the father. I didn't grow up with the father. Your poppy. How you been? Hey, I'm feeling pretty good. What's up? I'm no. a real ass. Acting guy. like. As if my dad taught me real fast. And as in, I was raised without a father. Ways in me, so I can operate myself in ways where other gay people, bisexual people, that's like me, that handle themselves like me. You're wrong. Yeah. All that calm down. Like, as if you're trying to grow, you, I'm not going to talk to me. Passionate. You can talk, you can be passionate. It makes me like it's bigger than what the is. I can't have a conversation. Hey, Pride Luncheon, and Zell and Bobby, why y'all beefing? That was wrong on your part because that's not your son, that's Tara's son. Way to call but him the out. kids that are coming to Tuesdays are not my kids. He made a cheering him on and like that. I just remember that moment. Serious. And she turned and say anything. I haven't denied our children anything. I don't see anything wrong with that. You know, at the end of the day, ask for is that however they turn out or whoever they decide to love. Sin Santana was at it again with Erica Mina. Now, Sin felt like Erica Mina was being hypocritical. Now, Erica thought that Sin was being fake and immature and a pain in the ass. But it didn't end there because Erica seemed to drag everybody that she had beef with into the fight. Fool's the devil. Not you, the that you was with. Everybody's attacking me to talk. It's supposed to be saying, I don't give a f what's going on. Bitch, not you! No, listen! You don't exist to me. Everybody's untouchable in here. So let's talk about the fake page then, bitch. Yeah, let's talk about it. Everybody wants but we're not talking about that. We so actually, we were defending you and your pathetic We've been drinking. Tonight wasn't the night for that conversation. 
I know what you went through with Sin was off emotion and how you feel about it. It was out of love. I pretty much know when Peter Guns is being genuine with me. I want you to stay here and have another conversation. Please. Now I feel like it's coming from the heart. A bitch. Okay, well, calm down. Build the bear, bitch. Calm down. I made that. A full grown woman who is going through something. All right, bitch. Let's talk about you then, and let's talk about that fake page. I care about that because page. Because you yeah. need the hype. You've been kind. You haven't been kind, me. bitch. Up the fake page. Babe, bitch, I don't have a fake page. What it is, she's a fabricated. You isolated a sentence, plucked it out to make it seem like I'm something that I'm not. God. You said it, bitch. You guys are fighting over a charity song. I'm running with it. OK, so I, so I just got ganged up on for defending. Sierra spearheaded the occasion to settle beef between Akbar and Tokyo on Spice. Unfortunately for her, neither of the women was interested in settling anything. In fact, Tokyo barely uttered a word and Spice arrived late. To squat like grown women. Your best behavior today. Y'all both great. And I just want y'all to be on one accord. We beef and come on, it's up there. If we not, then, then chill the f out. Tokyo and Spice ain't the top of these takeover events. Spice is a singer that don't want to be black. Tokyo is a comedian that is wet. Oh, uh, Don't be around me. I need y'all to come to a clear understanding. I'm going to tell you I got a problem with you. You have a problem things to do to just sit around and talk about apologizing and all this nonsense that ain't gonna make me no money. In the same era, like, you came from my struggle, so I can't never forget that. So to see both of y'all together, it... With my tour in Africa and Trinidad coming up, I'm booked and busy. So let's meet up, get over with it, because I have some money to make. Hey. This meeting today was to get everybody on one accord offended. Why is it tension with you? Because of that one night that you said, here, you flew here, and I flew here. OK. Talk. What's she taking off her shoes for? You gonna take my shoes? Yeah. I, I bitch no better. No, but really she girly. always take her shoes off. Uh, I don't have a problem with you because I don't okay. know you. So why exactly. you, what is your so why y'all have so much attitude? And I she don't, don't want to be on listen, one of four. Listen, so don't, spy, why, why listen, spy. Listen, spy. Y'all don't got no Nike. You can't <laughs> Getting into it with each other. Like, haven't she had enough with you? girl. You don't want to smoke with me, mommy. Uh, like, The battle of Scrappy's exes is always going to go down as one of the nasty moments on the show that leaves the audience with a bunch of mixed feelings. Now, Rashida took time to broker peace between Bambi and Erica Dixon. Now, it all started out well till somebody mentioned a lie and the other person wasn't going to take any lies to their face. Now, I'm torn between giving them brass knuckles or a mud wrestling pit to see how this all plays out. For her, um, just to be able to have a relationship with her siblings. I have a new house. She still has her same bedroom furniture in it, and so it's not an issue. It's not an issue. She hasn't even been over there. To my new house? She hasn't been to the old house. If we gonna talk, we gonna have a real conversation. Let's, let's do it. And we gonna keep it all the way Absolutely. real, okay? Yeah, when you're not there. Notice exactly. what you said, when you're not yeah. there. So she's went when you're not there. Exactly. A child. Let's keep it all the way 100. We are gonna keep if it we 100. Gonna keep it 100. Yeah. No, 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 no. For all these years of just being quiet, Erica trying to accuse me of mistreating her daughter was That's oh, why I had an issue with you. And I, we gonna start with the lies. That, that, the police but came see, to my house. I have a that's police that's report, see, Erica. You and Scrappy's I have accusation. Because it was just so much drama. When the police got there, it turned into a, what bothered me the most was get full custody of Imani, knowing good and well that. I don't need you, bitch. I'm with you. Like you one thing. I don't give a about that. Bitch, you're second best. He wanted to be with me. He wanted to be with me. Let's go. 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 let us go let us Listen, I'm not about to argue with a baby mama. I'm gonna stop, stop, stop. Keep going, baby. Now, after Amina Butterfly decided to bring Tiara in on a relationship with Peter Guns, they met at a restaurant. The discussion seemed to begin on a good note until it all derailed and the ladies were soon screaming and fighting. Down? Okay, I will get up. Andy gave me the heads up that Amina was going to be singing at this club. Let me just go and see what freaking Tweety was all about. Okay. What, what are you so excited about singing for? I do know that a sorta, but not really. Okay, I'm, I'm all in. There's more to it. Do you understand that Peter has a family? Did you did you not know that? He lives with 
how do you think that it's remotely possible that we're living together as a roommate situation? I did not know about Kaz up until like three months ago. Let's just use your basic common sense. I think those kids are immaculate conception and he's well, helping out. let me say out. this, like, I'm gonna tell you exactly what he told me. I really feel bad, I feel guilty knowing what I know now, but it's kind of like I'm so deep in it. It's not just that we're I would like to see the facts, Amina. I can prove it. Let's see it. I didn't even, I don't even want to go there. Let's go, I'm like, ready to go. Here saying like, I don't give oh, a f I don't give a flying f happens in life. People fall in love with other people and he fell in love with me. You, like you know to go to great you want me to tell you something? Too. I love going to great I'm an outlet. playing around. I'm his wife. Bitch. Yeah, I'm good. The tattoo yet? She's married to a man that I live with. But then Amina dropping that ID just brought everything to a whole new level. Okay, I'm awesome, actually. I win. I'm glad that it's out. Finally, me and Peter can move on with our life. Talk about punching Amina in the face. Because they're going back and forth talking about who loved who. And Amina was like, you think you'd love me? Bam, smacks the ID on the table. Been at this restaurant, it's crazy. And it's bad for business. Peter even thinks there is like a tiny glimmer of hope for us. Go back to your wife, let her deal with that bull because I'm done. Remy Ma called Ra Ali and Yandy to go join at the gym. Now, she thought both women would find it easier to settle their beef in the gym with no bad blood. Now, Ra thought that Remy found a new friend in Yandy because Ra had a fallout with Remy. Now, when Yandy showed up, the situation changed. Everything that I needed to do to get things back on track with family members, this wedding that I've been wanting for years now. I need to do the same thing with my friend. I my fashion show. But when I got the call that she wanted me to meet her at the boxing ring, I'm like, all right, babe. If I'm ever going to make it to the finish line of this wedding in peace, I'm going to need my friends there like that. So, since... Since what? Since that disastrous fashion show. You. I'm hoping to smooth things out with Ra. The plan the thing is seriously making me physically sick. So, not a huge attitude, not enough that I'm not gonna help you with your wedding. This is a dress. It's perfect, it's mm -hmm. amazing, it's marvelous. It's gonna take them um, like six months. It's possible on me. I didn't leave you. You left me, you did. You know what I wanna get you? An award. Uh, Find, a Find a dress. things to do. Find a dress. The pressure. So, I asked Yanzi to help me with the um, as well. When did Remy and Yandy become BFFs? Girl, bye. Hey, all. You ready? Good to see you. Asking Yandy to help you plan your wedding is one thing. And we didn't know that we were going to be speaking again anyway. You just still been working on my wedding when we have this conversation right now. You can... Not to be ambushed by her new fake BFF, Yandy. Uh, but her face was extremely screwed up. Of course, I have all the connects and all the hookups to make Remy's day super special. I need a dress. I need flowers. Not a lot of flowers. No, pretty much what I want as far as the whole winter, wonderland mm -hmm. theme. Like, tell her, baby, so she can get them for you. It's my favorite flower. No, tell her. And your birthday? We didn't come here to throw shade. I came to help Remy. Where did you even come from? You and Remy have just started hanging out. This is my wedding as well. I've always claimed your wedding is mine too, so it'll be something that we both like. You need, I'm here for you. I am going to do my best. This day is special for you. 